Let me have a little more. I hope Jeremiah really has those nails and wasn't just making an excuse to get out of the heat. Pearl, the lunch is all packed. I'm almost ready to go. Good. We're ready, too. Boy, I'll say. Swim and lunch. That's for me. Hello! Oh. Where did he come from? Why, he's all tame and everything. Maybe we can keep him. Come on, let's ask. He's just a baby, maybe an orphan. Can we keep him? Well, if he is an orphan, we'd better. He'd never make it alone. I have a hunch his mother's around here someplace looking for food so she can keep him. He'll go back to her when she calls him or when he gets lonesome. Oh, it'd be so much fun. Yes, I know. But, Pa, he came to us. Maybe he doesn't want to go back to his mother. Then could we keep him? Why don't we let him make the decision? Well, maybe he will want to stay. Oh, another animal. Where did it come from? He just came right to me. What are you going to do with it? We're going to let him run free until he decides to go back to his mother. Papa says he can stay if he wants to. Of course he can stay. Nails, Carl. I found him in the blasted chest. He got back just in time for the picnic. Oh, what's this? A wee monk? <laughs> He's just an orphan. Yeah, an orphan. Hey, whoa. I'm an orphan, too. Get up here. Let me look at you. I love you, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go to the beach. What about him? Well, we leave him here. Don't you remember? It was going to be his decision. <laughs> All right, brother. Oh, easy, easy. Hey, look, it's following us. <laughs> If 
If his mother does come looking, she's going to have a hard time finding him. He's certainly not interested in going home. Food's ready. Come and eat. Oh. Ah. Extra guest. <laughs> we have to go. Jeremiah, if you'll take the basket. I'll carry this. Well, what's got into you, Carl? I mean, that's my young bucko. I thought this was a bag of chicken feet. <laughs> Come on, Papa. <laughs> Helga wouldn't use so much of that sailor talk. Her father was a sea captain. She comes by naturally. I think she gets most of that salty talk from Jeremiah. If she's still speaking that way when she's 18, we'll talk to her, all right? I'd better carry him. He must be getting tired. <laughs> Don't fret me, buckos. Don't fret, she's just wanting her baby. She must want him awful bad. Carl! The chip mama's here! Hear that? Your mother's waiting for you. Another day you'd have him talking. What are you doing up there? Put him down, Mama. There, go to your Mama. If you won't walk, I guess I'll have to deliver you. Why on earth would she do that? I don't know, but she's as strong as three men. Well, if you ask me, she uh, lost her ballast. Get you. I know. Come on, I want to wash that. The children get up in the house. <sighs> Carl, can you believe that? All that fuss, and she leaves a baby behind. That means she'll be back. I want everybody to stay away from that baby chimp. The mother's capable of real damage. That chimp. I'll go tell Mama and Papa. Who's here? Mama, Papa, that big chimp. He tried to wreck the house. Help Fred and Helga straighten up. We'll be right up. Yes, ma'am. Carl, I could take the baby to my place. That's no solution. That mother could kill you. You better stay here. Well, that's not a bad idea. You stay here at the treehouse with us. Go get our muskets. Hi. Mama's going to be awful upset. I wish we could replace it. How? I remember I saw a show just like this one. Where? I don't remember. Well, think. I'm trying. <laughs> well, Carl, here we are. Good. We'll have to fix your place so the baby chimp can't get out. But the mother can get in to get him. That's no problem. Let's go. We shouldn't be long. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
No use, I can't remember. Well, it's got to be on the beach someplace. We'll try and find it and surprise her. Here she comes. Don't say anything. What a wreck. That she devil. Of all things, why did she have to break the past? Well, I guess we'll just have to do without a sink for a while. Here you are, little fella. Here you are. That'll keep you quiet. There we go. All she needs to do is give it one good push and it'll open. I hope she comes for him so we can get back to normal. Aye. Oh, 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 It has to hurt some before it heals. Dumb little chimp. If it only had gone with his mama. From what I've seen of that chimp's mama, maybe the little one wasn't so dumb. Yeah, she... She surely acted like she flapped her rudder. Carl, you rest a while. I'll go check me traps, and I'll check them at Pesky Chimp. All right? She ape. What she's done to my beautiful home, sweet home. I'm gonna hang her from the nearest yard arm. <laughs> Rosie. Huh? She ain't that thin no more. She probably got another one. Acid stomach, eighty noise, back eight, chili blades, delirium, epilepsy, sea fester, gale stones. Oh, here it is. Headache, herny, hookworm, hydrophobia. Page 21. Hydrophobia is transferred from mad animals to humans by biting. Chimp is gone. My mother got it back. Good. Yep. Tore the hinges right off the door. Ripped the place apart, too. I never saw a chimp back that way. No normal chimp, anyway. Jeremiah, are you trying to tell me something? Me? No, why? Come on, now. What is it? <sighs> well, I don't know exactly for sure, you understand? Jeremiah, out with it. All right. Carl, I think that the chimp's mama, the mother, I think she's sick. What do you mean? Well, you noticed how crazy she acted. I mean, so spooked up. I looked it up in a, in a book I got, a medical book. And? Well, now, mind you, I'm not certain of this, but those symptoms of hers point to only one thing. What's that? I didn't vote. Jeremiah. You're ridiculous. Your imagination's working overtime. Restless, violent, hostile, fighting. No normal chimp acts that way. Even so, those symptoms don't necessarily mean hydrophobia. <sighs> Says so right in the book. Even the, the, the own baby's afraid of his mother. Carl, I had to tell you.
Jeremiah, I'm willing to admit the possibility of hydrophobia, but I want a lot more proof before I concede it's a fact. Because if that mother chimp has hydrophobia, then I have it. And there's no cure. That means you'll die. Apparently, the first few days, the victim shows no symptoms. Then some symptoms, and, and in the final stage, wild symptoms. If that mother chimp is rabid, she's in the second stage. Jeremiah, we've got to know for sure. How? Just watch her and see what happened to her, and I'd be certain. But how are we going to watch her? We could lure her into a trap with her baby, and I could observe her. It should only take a few days to find out one way or the other. I got a net. Face it, so there's strong evidence. No, it's simply not possible, Carl. The reason she's acting that way is because she's having trouble with her baby and nothing more. I hope so, but I'm still going to catch her and observe her. Lottie, there's one more thing. Don't tell the children yet. I won't. time. She's too wary now for us to trap her anywhere near the treehouse. Besides, as long as she keeps coming around, everybody's in danger. Carl, I got a, a mean idea, but this is a mean problem we're facing. Why don't we just shoot her and get it done with? Now, if we kill her, I won't know whether or not she has hydrophobia. I've got to find out. Well, mate, this is a rocky reef we're on. What are we going to do? Well, we could take her out into the jungle, maybe the mushroom cave. Try to use her as bait to trap the mother there. All right, I'll go with you. I want to go alone. No, Carl, I want to go with you. All right, I'll go tell Lottie where we're going. Oh, oh that's their little tyke. We're both unhappy. Yes. Nice fella, like Carl Robinson, huh? You got a long face for good reason. A nice man like Carl Robinson. Aye, he's got to get bit. And him, he's only trying to protect his lady and his family. And he's trying to, trying to get you back to your mama. But most important of all, you have to get the outrigger ready. I want you to stock it for me. What has the outrigger got to do with anything? 
If I have the disease, there's only one way I can protect all of you from me. I have to leave. I'm coming with you. No. Jeremiah will help me build a trap at the mushroom cave. Once we've caught the mother, we should have the answer in two or three days. The way to keep something from happening is to be prepared for it, right? Now, I want you to stock that outrigger. Floor's good and flat. I think a drop door would work the best. Yeah, you need lots of hardwood, bamboo, and vines. Let's get to it. Hi. All right, little fella. Gonna tie you up here. Just for a bit. You're a cute little fella, isn't that? I'm going to... Oh, the monkeys have no tails. They were tripping off my whales. Oh, the monkeys have no Say. Yeah, I agree. If it works. Ah, with your permission, I'll show you how it works. Now, me, I'm the mama chimp. <laughs> now, I see me babe in there. So, I carefully come through this, and then when I reach the back of the spring, voila! <laughs> That's good, very good. Just one more thing. I'll try and rip it down, because this is going to take more of a beating from that mother chimp than you could possibly give it. I. Now, Carl, I don't know. It's solid. I, I don't think she can do it. Now, I'll, uh, I'll fetch the monk. Here we are, baby. Cute little fella, Carl. I gotta be careful not to spring this coming out. Now, there we are. Good. No, Carl, don't you take that. You rest your arm. How far do you think we ought to go? Just far enough so that female thinks we're gone for good, and we'll circle back. Aye. Take it in the back way. What about me? You're supposed to be working in the garden. Go on. Mm. Ernie, how many times do I have to tell you to come in the front way? Yes, ma'am. out in the garden? I have too much work to do in here. Besides, Helga's taking care of the weeding. You ought to see her with that hoe. She's really cutting away. That's good. Too bad about the new bean shoots. And what's that mean? Well, she never could tell the difference between weeds and bean shoots. I think she'd turn them all out. Oh, no. All right, here it comes. She'll be back any minute. We can't put it in now. We'll have to hide it. Yeah, but where? Helga's room. Come on.
If that mama gets the baby chimp out of there, I'll never see either one of them again. I've got to drive her off fast. Get away! Shoot! Get away! Shoot! Well, I guess the noise scared her off. We've got to do something to reinforce that door before she tears it down. Aye, right, but that'll take some doing. We need some time. Jeremiah, give me your powder horn. What for? This will work better than one musket shot. As long as we have that baby trap, the mother will stay nearby where I can observe her. Well, I think you can be observing her now. <laughs> Give me your flint and steel. I... I've been out of order for a while. Let's get to work on that door. Mama? Why are you crying? What's that for? I might ask you what you're doing up. I saw the light. Something wrong? No, not really. Then why were you putting that stuff in the basket? Fred. Your father and I didn't want you and Ernie and Helga to worry, because there's nothing really to worry about. What I'm trying to tell you is that your father and Jeremiah didn't go for more salve to treat his arm like I said. You see, they, they thought there might be a possibility the mother of chimpanzee has hydrophobia. Hydrophobia? Which I'm sure she doesn't. But he felt he must trap her to make certain to his satisfaction that she doesn't have it. It'll only take a day or two. Then why were you putting those things in the basket? Because your father asked me to. The things to... Store in the outrigger. He didn't really even tell me why. Now, back to bed with you. Go on. Mama? Is Papa going away? Your father's coming home as soon as he finds out that chimpanzee has nothing wrong with her. What if she does? What then? We'll talk about that in the morning. And let's not bother Ernie and Helga with this. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's uh, all right. What's going on? Things are going on just like we planned. We got the chimpanzee in the little mushroom cave. The mama comes to visit, and Carl watches. You're holding the something back. Away. No, ma'am, that's the way it is. Tell me the truth, Jeremiah. But I'm telling you, ma'am. I, I, I be. Could I give you a hand with this? No. This is all your fault. All those stories about hydrophobia. Not I'll not put a thing in that boat. Oh, he isn't going to get hydrophobia, and he's not going to go away. And I'm going to throw everything in the ocean. Please, Miss Robinson, you're all twisted. I be telling you exactly the way it is. How do I know you're telling me the truth, Jeremiah? Because, woman, I know you're already riding a rough sea. Ma'am, I'm telling it to you straight, as straight as a, a, a as a deck scene. You and your sailor talk. I'll find out for myself. You going to change the will of God? You better than he is? Buddy, you cannot change the will of God. Whatever will be, will be. You can't change it by leaving your children and by going out there. 
If he's gonna die, he's gonna die. But you cannot die for him, Lottie. You cannot die for him. No, but I can go to him while I, he needs me. The children are waiting for me at the storage shack where they're safe from that monster. Take care of them until we get back. We? Yes, we! We're both coming back! Hey, Freddy boy. Hey, what you doing here? You ought to be in the storage shack. Jeremiah? Hmm? I know why my father's out there. You do? I know about the hydrophobia. I looked it up in Papa's medical book. Uh-huh. That, yeah. Well, uh... Uh... Why did Mama go out there to him? Oh. Well, your, your Mama went out to your Papa because uh, she didn't want him to be alone while he was waiting to... Uh, to find out. That's why. But he said there's no chance of the mother chimp having it. It's not true, is it? Well, Frederick, we don't know that yet. I mean, it'll be a while. There's a time to live and a time to die. A time to what? I know everybody's got to die. My pop explained that to me back in Switzerland when my grandfather died. Well... Frederick, lad, uh, well, we ain't exactly sure of anything yet. What? Pa says. Hmm? Your, your papa says what? Said that praying helps. Maybe we ought to tell Ernie and Helga. They can pray too. Maybe. Maybe we should. But I... I talk a lot to the man up there, and the Lord, well, he's pretty nice. He understands, and I think that just one prayer would have as much uh, effect with him as three or maybe even a hundred. And maybe what we ought to do is, you know, what your mama says, just wait until he comes back. All right. I'll go to the house. Ready. Frederick, lad, is there something else? Hmm? Tell me, boy. Tell me. Jeremiah, since you already know, will you pray for Papa, too? Oh, that I will, lad. That I will, I will pray for your papa. too dangerous. Give this up, Carl. Come home. Let her have her baby. I don't want you to die. I want to be with you. Try and be patient with me a little while longer. I have to find out for sure you know that. Carl, please. Lottie. Lottie, I know it's hard for you, but you have to try and find the strength to deal with it. I'm sorry, Carl. Whatever comes, I'll accept. I want to help you all I can. I want to stay here with you until we know. That's not a good idea. You have nothing to say about it. All right, you drive a hard bargain. But in the morning, first thing, home you go, and that's that. 
I'm going to take a look at that arm. I got the sink in. It's better than Neil. Oh, I can't wait till she sees it. Come on. Oh, smell that aroma. What a delicious aroma. Mm. Mm? Uh, I, I can smell it. What are you making, Jeremiah? Helga. Well, it started out to be lobscusi of fish. And it was made exactly the way Cookie, our chef, in the last ship did it. But I, I guess I'm getting a bit rusty. Well, you certainly have made a good start. Would you like some help? That I would. Would you and Frederick set the table? Sure. Me and the first mate will join you in one moment. Huh? <clears throat> Jeremiah? I'm sure glad you can catch fish better than you can cook them. <laughs> you may have met me at the Lamberts, but I met you two weeks earlier at the Warner. The Warner? I forgot. But I'll never forget the night you asked me to marry you. Oh, was I that funny? Not you. Remember the horse? The horse? Going to sleigh, remember? Uh, yes. You borrowed him from that boy, Wendell, who lived way over by the lake. I was so busy trying to figure out a way to propose to you that I forgot it wasn't a family horse. And instead of taking me to my house, he took us to Wendell's place. <laughs> I'll never forget your expression. Well, you laughed so hard you woke up Wendell's folks. <laughs> they thought we had too much schnapps. And that's when you announced that we were going to be married. I couldn't think of anything else to say. So many wonderful memories. <laughs> be acting normally. Could be temporary. The book mentioned cases like that. But she could be well, too, couldn't she? Yes. Yes, she could be. You just have to wait and find out. She's leaving, but she doesn't seem to want to. I'll follow her. I'm going with you. No, you wait here. Thank <laughs> you. 
what's the matter? going to get hydrophobia. I was sure when I saw her take a drink. An animal with hydrophobia won't drink water. But her behavior. An agonthera bush fell in her drinking pond. The berries are sometimes called Bushman's poison. The only thing she was suffering from was the effects of the diluted sap. I'll put some good water out for her tomorrow at the cave. When it's safe, I'll drain the pond. Everything's going to be all right. That's right. Then you won't mind very much if I sit. I told you so. Go ahead. You earned the right. That mother chimp likes the good water so much, she probably won't even go back to the pond. Well, Carl, I'd be more than glad to help you drain it. No need. It'll be easy. Now, Lottie, we have a surprise for you. A surprise? It's over here. It may not be as good as the one Paul made, but... It's beautiful. Just like it. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful surprise. Thank you. You slippy little flim flammers. That's where you've been disappearing to. <laughs> well, we have visitors. <laughs> Expert, maybe we should give her a wide berth, but she seems pretty nice. Don't worry, they're not gonna hurt anybody. Hi there, Mama. Hey, could I have one for the baby? Here, here, come here. Tell me, little fella. Come here. Let <laughs> me open the flame. You know how to... Have a banana party, okay? Mm -hmm. 